did you see that picture I just sent you? No. So, I was just driving around back here. I was about to go knock on another door, and I'm about to turn into the guy's driveway, and I look over, and Maxwell is standing in his front yard. So I like I got my camera out as quick as I could, and got it on him for about three seconds before he ran off. Maxwell's a deer that I've had on camera for about three years now. Um, two years ago, he was just a small three and a half year old. And then last year, he was probably 140 inches as a 10 pointer. Um, it seems like these Atlanta bucks really put on a ton of growth from four and a half to five and a half. And Maxwell definitely proved that to be true. I think he put on maybe 30 to 35 inches this year. Um, he was completely locked down on one of my spots all summer long until a week before the season started. And he went from showing up every other day during daylight to not showing up one time for three weeks. Hey. Hey, I've, I've got Maxwell bedded down right here. Seriously? Yeah. Um, Can you kill him? It's it's not on the, our property. It's, uh, as soon as you know that dip in the driveway, that long, the, like the long driveway? Yeah. I saw a deer bedded down up on the left, and I got my binoculars out, and he's sitting there. I wonder if I could go try to knock on this person's door real quick. And I mean, I don't, I don't see him moving anywhere for the next couple of hours. I'd knock on their door. If you get permission, I mean, I'll head over there right now. No way, they're driving down the driveway right now. If you can get them now and get them yeah, that, I mean, that's, that was the plan. get out of here before 12.30. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much. I just got a call from Drew about 15 minutes ago, and he said that he's got uh, Maxwell bedded down um, on a property he didn't get permit or did not have permission at. He just went and got permission, so I'm hauling butt to get out to him right now, and I think we're going to try and put a stalk on this deer uh, and try and kill him. Stop. Okay. I see the does. Back up a bit. He's still there. Yeah. Let's try it. I think so, yeah. He sees us, doesn't he? He sees us. After spooking Maxwell and not seeing him for three weeks prior to the stalk, I was worried I'd once again push him completely out of the area. Yeah, go ahead, Don. Dude, I'm watching Maxwell rub his velvet off right now. For real? Yeah. Where? You know the house right across the street from the spot I just got? Like right behind their driveway. I don't know if they have bait there or, or what, but now he's like 10 yards off the driveway. And he's just been, I thought he was tangled up in this tree for a while. I, uh, I had my stand down in this little valley behind us. And I moved it probably 50 yards up the hill. And when I was driving to my stand this afternoon, about 30 minutes ago, Maxwell was back behind the same house again. I've got a white oak dropping about 20 yards in front of me. Um, and I'm hoping he's going to cross the road to come feed on these acorns right in the dark. We'll see what happens.
After hunting this set a few times, I began to realize that Maxwell was just completely locked down across the street, and I would have to get in his bedroom to even have a chance at this deer. Um, even with a, hundreds of acres of woods surrounding this neighborhood, these mature bucks tend to lock down in these tiny pockets and fingers of woods between houses. Um, and, and especially during the early season, when they're only going 50 to 100 yards between food and water, you have to be in their bedroom to even have a chance at seeing these deer. Yep. He's here again. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down there right now and see if knock on the door, see if they're home. If I get permission right here, it's game over. But I don't think it's gonna happen. It's worth a shot.